Hello and welcome to my channel, Lips Master. Today I would like to teach you the first chapter of flexography, which is flexography and packaging. Let us start with my first chapter, flexography and packaging. Over the last three decades, the use of flexographic printing process has been growing approximately 8% a year a rate unparalleled by any other printing technology. Although some of his growth can attribute it to a great need for packaging, flexography is increasing used in markets traditionally served by gravure and offset. Since advances in technology has significantly improved flexography, ability to print accurate type, color, and halftone images. Manufacturers and print buyers are recognizing flexography as a high quality economical alternative to gravure and offset lithographic printing. Flexography, a progressing printing technology, is suitable for printing on coated and uncoated paper materials, non porous substrates, including metallized and paper foils, and plastic film. <coughs> used especially in the packaging industries. Flexographic printing is an efficient and cost-effective printing method that owes its growth to the continuous improvement in the quality of the printed work produced. The principle of flexography, the principle of flexographic printing unit can be seen in the coming slide. There, there is a drawing, the transfer of inks to the substrate is one of the <clears throat> most important factors affecting the quality of the final printing results. The thin high fluid and rapid drying ink used in flexography requires the use of an ink metering analogs roller which is engraved with a cell pattern to enable an even and fast ink transfer to the printing plate. The configuration of the cells in the analogs roller, the pressure between the rollers and the use of the doctor blade mechanism controls the amount of ink retained in the analog roller and therefore available to be transferred to the printing plate. The flexographic printing plates or a cliche which is mounted on the printing cylinder is either made of a rubber or more commonly of a photopolymeric material. The flexographic printing plates enables good quality printing even on rough substrates. It is a relief printing process, meaning that image area of the printing plate is raised above the non-image area. The image area receives the inks, which is transferred to the printing substrate. When the substrate is pressed with support of the impression cylinder against the printing plate. Flexography is a direct method. The plate the printing plate transferred the ink directly to the substrate and the image on the printing plate is therefore inverted. The pressure between the analogs roll and the printing plate and then between the printing plates and the substrate must be carefully adjusted to a given a uniform print with no areas of over impression. Also the ink rheology must be carefully tailored to meet the press conditions. The approximate ink film thickness applied to the substrate in flexography is normally 2 to 4 micromillimeter and depends, depends on the type of work being produced. The speed of the press, the transfer characteristics of the ink and the nature of the substrate surface. Here is the drawing which I am showing you how the principle of the flexography print. Here is a printing cylinder and here are the analog rollers, the ink pan and the ink transfer through a doctor blade chamber and here is a doctor blade which will wipe the analog cylinder excess ink the, and the cells transfer the inks to the printing plates and between the, the uh, impression cylinder and the printing cylinder the substrate pass and with the impression with the pressure it will print and it will pass. <clears throat> now, I would like to share flexo mark graphic markets, how and uh, the corrugated uh, box board normally printed with the 
flexographic uh, method of technology. By far the largest market of the flexographic corrugated is printed on sheet fed presses. Fast drying, water based inks, the soft photopolymer plates, a light impression uh, pressure make flexography well suited for printing corrugated boxes in large quantities. And another application in flexographic printing is flexible packaging. The flexible packaging uses non-absorbent polymer film including bread bags, snacks, food bags, candy wrappers, pouches and textile wrap, shopping bags etc. Rigid paper box which is called normally folding carton. Rigid paper box are preformed boxes are used for battery products, shoes and neckties. Also the application gift wrap and wallpaper also be printed in with flexographic printing. A continuous repeat allows printing of products such as wallpaper, gift wrap, design rolls which do not have a plate seam are used to print a continuous background color. Folding cartoons, folding cartoons which are duplex board which are normally used in the uh, packaging including serial boxes, detergent boxes, cosmetic boxes are printed by the both offset as well as gravity process. Flexography has recently increased its market share due to improved quality. Envelopes. Envelopes is used to print many kinds of envelopes including those for direct mail stakes, general mailing, overnight delivery, the security printing on the side of the many envelopes is often applied by flexograph. Paper and grocery bags. The paper bag is the original flexographic product. In the late 1800 century, flexography evolved from the need to apply graphics to plain brown grocery sacks. The evolution continues today. Plastic carrier bags. Flexography can add advertising and graphics to plastic bags that are carried that are carried by customers in stores. Milk cartons, approximately 90% of the milk cartons are printed using flexography. What next is pre-printed liner board. Pre-printed liner boards allow high quality graphics to be placed on corrugated containers. Newspaper in the United States alone, there are between 35 and 40 newspaper using the flexographic printing process for the entire paper. Many newspapers use flexography to print the Sunday comics. Tags and labels. Tags and labels, the fast drying UV inks used in flexographers allow inline die cutting immediately after printing. The quality of many flexographic labels is equal to or better than the offered by offset or gravure. Traditional printing process. The three most widely used printing process is used today are offset, lithography, gravure and flexography. The printing process for each method differ primarily in design of the image carrier or printing plate. The ink and the ink delivery system to be printing plate. Offset lithography. <coughs> Offset lithography is a planographic process means that printing plate holds both the image and non-image areas on one flat surface or plane. One of the most offset presses image areas on the plate are chemically treated to attract the lithographic pastings while a fountain solution or ink repellent chemical treatment protects non-image areas from inking. From the plate, the image is first transferred to the blanket. Has the term offset comes and then to the paper or other material known as the substrate. To dry most lithographic, uh, lithographic inks require a certain period of time for an application of heat. This is the drawing where it shows it's a printing cylinder, this is the inking rollers, blanket cylinder, and fountain solution and impression cylinder and uh, impression pressure and it will be showing the image and non-image areas here all right 
What next is rotogravure? Gravure is an intaglio process in which the image area is resist below the level of the non-image area. The image is etched or engraved in a cell format onto a copper plate or copper plate plated cylinder by varying the size and depth of each cell. A printer using a gravure press can vary tones. Often after the copper is etched or engraved, the plate or cylinder is plated with a chrome to add durability and increase its run length. A fast drying ink fills the resist cells. A then metal strip called a doctor blade clears the non-image area of the ink. And the image is transferred directly to the substrate under heavy pressure from rubber covered impression cylinder. And here is the drawing for it and shows heavy impression pressure and it is the engraved gravure cylinder. There is an ink pan and the doctor blade which will wipe cylinder and it shows the how the engraved cells looks like and the image resist below. Flexography because it's soft compressible plate follows to uneven substrates. Flexography is often used for printing on packaging materials such as corrugated and paperboard plastic film and paper and monofilm labels as we discussed in earlier slide. The fast drying liquid inks used in flexography are idle for such materials as polyethylene films used in plastic grocery. Flexography is characterized as a relief process. The image area on the compressible plate are raised above the surface rounding non-image areas. An ink emitting cylinder called an analog roll apply ink to the raised areas. The plate is then moved into light contact with the substrate to transfer the image. The minimal pressure during the image transfer allows printing on material. Here is the drawing. How it shows that light impression cylinder here, pressure. Here is a doctor chamber which is having two doctor blades. Plate cylinder which is photopolymer plate is the substrate and the impression cylinders and how the image looks like. And this printing technology of flexography is used cons consists of three basic types. The two roll unit, the two roll unit with the doctor blade and the dial doctor ink chamber system. Two roll units are usually found on older flexo presses and on narrow web presses. Narrow web presses equipped to process colors often used to the two roll unit with doctor blade and more modern wide web press use the dial doctor blade ink chamber system. Each type of flexographic press use an analog roll. The surface of analog roll is engraved with a pattern of tiny cells so a small so a small they can only be seen under magnification. The size and number of the cells determine how much ink will be delivered to the image areas of the plate and ultimately to the sur substrate. An analog, analog roll is either copper engraved and the chrome plates are ceramic coated steel with a laser engraved cell structure. Analog rolls are carefully selected for a specific type of printing, substrate and customer requirements. Often the flexographic printer will perform test runs to determine the ideal analogs for producing the desired ink distribution for half tone, spot colors and solids. And the ink de delivery system on a two roll flexographic printing unit, the rubber covered inking roll rotates in fluid ink bath, dragging ink for the pan, two cells and the analog cell. The soft rubber fountain roll is held in tight contact with the analog roll as the analog rotates past the nip point. The fountain rolls wipes excess ink from non-cell areas. Once past the nip point, each cell is filled with an ink and measured repeatedly amount of ink is available to the printing plate. The meter analog roller is moved into light kiss contact with the image area of the plate and the plate cylinder is moved 
into kiss contact with the substrate to the transfer the image. The steel impression cylinder supports the substrate when a thin metal or polyethylene ductor blade is used with two roll unit the nip point between the fountain and the analog roll is open to allow ink to flood the ink analogs and fill the cells the ductor blade comes into contact with the analog to clearly excess inks from the cells <clears throat> here it's showing here it's a two roll with ductor blade then you have two roll here. Here you have uh, flexographic ink delivery. Two roll with analogs roll, ink pan, fountain roll, impression cylinder. The characteristics of the analogs roll. It is measured cells per inch, which is CPI, range between 140 to 1200 cell per inch. As cell count increase, ink delivered to plate decrease as line resolution increase cpi should be also be increased the cell volume the cell volume is considered as the range between 1.8 to 17 bcm billion cubic microns per square inch of cell as cpi increases cell volume decrease which means that when you have 200 cpi analog roll you have Cell volume should be between 1.8, not 17 BCM, but it will it should be 3.5. Suppose we will discuss this in coming chapters. The cell angle typical analog cells are 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. A 60 degree angle allows for more complete ink transfer and is the preferred cell angle. The screen angle of the printing plates and the cell angle can combine to cause a moire pattern. Even with one color half tones, moire is avoided by angling separation screens. Here we are giving here how the cell volume and the CPI will be determined to different kind of substrates and the application. For the line art in corrugated board, the CPI should be 200 to 280, which is 7 to 8.5 BCM cell volume. Half tones at 65 LPI corrugated board, 360 to 400 CPI of the analog roller, and the cell volume should be 4 to 5.5 BCM. For full curve half tones at 133 LPI polythene bags application. 600 to 900 which is CPI and 1.8 to 2 BCM is the cell volume. Now we will continue our chapter number 2 in the next uh, video and I would like to thank you all for watching this my first chapter of uh, flexography and packaging. And I wish you to visit my channel and learn more about and pass your comments. Thank you very much.